Skippy Foods has recalled more than 9,000 cases of peanut butter after concerns that some jars may contain a small fragment of stainless steel. The recall includes jars with Best Buy dates of early May of 2023. The company says that there have been no complaints related to the issue and that the recall is voluntary. A stock sell-off early this year led to the worst quarter in history for a dozen S&P 500 stocks. Companies including Facebook, Etsy and PayPal suffered their worst quarterly percentage decline, resulting in a loss of nearly half a trillion dollars in market cap. And a new survey shows that most New Yorkers returning to the office plan to cut their office time in half when compared to pre-pandemic levels. But it's not just their time in the city. They plan to cut their spending in the city in half, too. Meanwhile, the Bureau of Labor Statistics is gearing up to release its March jobs report later on this morning. So joining me now with a preview of those numbers is Glassdoor senior economist Daniel Zhao. Thanks for joining us. So, I mean, so far it seems like things are going well in terms of a job growth. What sort of job growth can we expect to see later on today? Well, what we're expecting is that the job market is likely to slow a little bit in March, where we're going to see job gains around half a million. Uh, but we should still continue to see healthy and steady job gains, really reflecting the fact that the labor market fundamentals that we have right now are very healthy. And then what about wage growth? Because we have been hearing how wage growth was really robust, though it wasn't helping us because we were still dealing with, you know, the the uh, price of everything skyrocketing as well. But can we expect rate wage growth to continue at the same pace? Well, wage growth did take a step back last month. It was basically unchanged month over month. But I do expect that in March we should see some rebounds in wage growth, which should put it around the 5% mark, a little bit higher uh, year over year. Now, that being said, you, you put it exactly right, which is that inflation is eating into people's paychecks, and that's a serious concern for workers. We've seen on Glassdoor that employee discussions of inflation have increased 600% year over year, and it really just goes to highlight the fact that workers recognize that the elevated inflation rates we're seeing are really eating into paychecks. So, you know, what we saw during the pandemic when it came to job losses was that minority groups suffered the most. Women and other minority groups, African-American workers. I'm wondering, in, ter in terms of this comeback, are all groups benefiting the same? Well, generally speaking, we are seeing unemployment rates drop for all groups. Mm -hmm. uh, but that being said, there are still gaps. So, for example, the black unemployment rate has been double the white unemployment rate for the last few months. And that is obviously a, a significant concern. We have this discussion uh, about a K-shaped recovery where some groups recover faster than others. And certainly that is a concern, especially for uh, groups like black workers. Mm -hmm. That being said, we are starting to see some of those um, some of those gaps decline. We are seeing the black unemployment rate down to 6.6%, which is a pretty significant improvement over where it was earlier in the recovery. So hopefully a rising tide will continue to lift all boats. And I guess the overarching question is, you know, how long will it take for us to get back to pre-pandemic levels? Or maybe we won't. Maybe, you know, the post-pandemic level is going to look a little bit different. I think it's a great question because on the one hand, the jobs growth that we are seeing is on pace to actually return to pre-pandemic levels in sometime in the summer, which is actually a pretty dramatic recovery when you think back to April or May of 2020 when we were talking about potentially 15% or even higher unemployment rates. So the fact that we've actually seen this dramatic recovery is a positive sign. It means that we have gotten back to a more normal economy much faster than we expected. That being said, we are in a new normal. The economy today isn't exactly the same as what it was back then. So for example, some industries like e-commerce have done very well and have actually grown faster than they were before the pandemic. But you have other industries, for example, nursing or childcare, where they're actually still suffering from the uh, suffering from the effects of the pandemic. And that's, of course, having knock on effects for the rest of the economy. When you talk about people who rely on those services like child care or elder care. Right. Daniel, thank you very much. Thanks.